Welcome back to another merch design tutorial guys. Today we're going to be making this streetwear dog design inside of Photoshop. We're going to be using assets from Envato Elements as well as some free ones from Pexels. Remember to drop a like if you find the tutorial useful, it really helps out. Let's hop into Photoshop. So the first part of this tutorial is really rather simple guys. We are going to create a rectangle and a circle using the shape tools and then align them into the headstone shape. Then merge them into one smart object layer. Now if we grab the text tool and hover it over the edge of our new shape, you're going to see a wavy line appear. This is going to allow us to create text around the shape. The font I'm using for this design is called Old London. It's a free font so check it out guys if you haven't but I'm pretty sure most of you have as it's a very very popular font at the moment. Now let's import the background photo for the design. By holding Alt and clicking in between the background layer and the shape layer, we can force the background inside the shape. And this is known as a clipping mask. Just to warn you, I do end up changing this background photo in a little while, just because perspectively it doesn't line up with the dogs and it just looks off. So I end up finding a better one. Now let's bring in our first dog photo from Envato Elements and we're just going to remove the background using the Photoshop AI using the select subject and then applying a layer mask and as you can see it does a pretty good job however we do need to clean it up. To do that we just need to make sure that the layer mask thumbnail is selected and then using a black brush to take away parts or a white brush to bring parts back we can then clean up the dog and make sure that the cutout is perfect. Once I position the dog, like I said earlier, I do remove the background just because I can see straight away that the perspective is just not going to work. It's pretty damn close though. We're then just going to do exactly the same thing, but with the second dog photo. So this is the new background I found, which is going to work a lot better than the other one. Perspectively, it just lines up so much better with the dogs and looks right pretty much straight away just without doing anything so we're going to clip it into the middle shape and then turn it black and white just like we did before i'm also going to move the dog layers down and clip them into the shape as well To help make the dogs look like they're actually sitting in the leaves of the background, I'm going to use the layer mask that's already there and blend their feet very slightly into the floor using a black soft brush. This part doesn't really have to be perfect because I knew I was going to include some mist around the bottom of the uh, dogs and behind them so as far as the shadows go and blending their feet in it doesn't have to be exactly spot on. I'm then going to add some shadows to the bottom of their feet and behind them using the blend mode soft light and a black soft brush. I decided to add even more shadows to the floor and behind the dogs just to make it extra dark. I'm then going to add extra shadow to the dogs using the same method. And just to recap on exactly what I'm doing, I'm adding an extra layer. I'm then using the blend mode soft light on that layer, clipping it to the dog or the background, whatever I want to apply shadow to. I'm then using a black soft brush and painting on extra shadow wherever I want it.
Now I'm going to use some mist brushes from Invato Elements to create some mist around the dogs. If you're interested in signing up for Invato Elements guys and you want to support my channel then please consider using my affiliate link. I will leave it down in the description below. Now it's time to add in the final shapes and text and this design is done. As always guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you wanna see more and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.